Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you everything about blog posts in Free Elementor. And by everything, I mean if you want to create a blog post grid, a carousel, a slider, a news sticker, a timeline, a post, a guardian, and so on, you can do it easily by watching this video. And again, we will be only using a Free Elementor and Free plugin. And I already have a video about this topic that you can see here. But in that plugin, some widgets are now fed and you will have to pay for that. So I decided to make a new video to show you how you can achieve all these things for free. And if you are new to the channel, then I am always creating videos about WordPress and Elementor, so you can consider subscribing. Now let me give you a quick tour of the plugin and that how it works and then we will see how we can install this plugin and how we can work with this plugin. So these are the items that are available. You can see LX Carousel, LX Grid and these are just names okay you can open up any of these and you can see the look and you can decide that if you need that or not so let me show you a few of these let's open elix carousel i'll open this on a new tab okay and let's also open a mock grid and uh, a nice grid maple grid i am choosing randomly but you can open any of these final list and i think that's it now let me show you one by one and this is the LX Carousel demo one. You can see this is a slider where we can display author here, featured image, and then we have the category, the title, and edit more and this shape. And this is another demo here you can see. And another one. And another one and so on. You can open up any of these and you can see the looks that you can use and you can have in your website. This is another one with one post at a time. Again this one and so on. I cannot even cover only the demos in this video but let me quickly show you. This is a mock grid. So you can see the look, the how effect and also, also the category, title, date and so on. This is another one you can also notice the hover and the entrance animation like these. This is another look and I'll show you how easy we can build these layouts ok. So you can explore any of these. Let me show you this one. This is a live grid demo. So this is how it will look. Basically featured image and text above it. So if you need this look you can also consider this plugin. This is another view. And this is another one. And so on. And this is Mifid Grid. This is how it will look. You can see the icons, the hour effects, the other metadata and then title and description. And this is how the rest of the post will look. This is another one that you find on the premium themes like one post here and all the posts on the right side. This is another look, another one and so on. This is the first recording, you can see the look and the hour effect. These are also blog posts. And another one. And these are almost same. And this is a list, so you can see we have a list. And in this shape, this one, and so on. So these were some demos, you can get the idea and you can explore more by going to this link in the description and you can open any of these. Now I can't open any of these and show you everything because the video will get lengthy. You can also filter these by free, pro, new and popular. If you go to free, there are 46 widgets available. The one I showed you are free. You can see the green icon, this is free, free and popular and so on. So again, just go to this link and you can explore any of these. Now let me show you how you can get this plugin and how you can upload this to your face and how you can work with this. So that will be very easy and quick. You can just go to the link in the description and you can download this plugin here for free. Click on this, download free and your download will start. Now you just need to upload this to your world face. So let's go to our world face dashboard. By the way, this is the website that we will be using for this video. This is an e-commerce website. I created in my last video. So let's go to a stream dashboard and let's close this. And uh, to upload the plugin, you can just go to plugins, add new, then go to upload plugin. And here choose file. So I'll just drag that plugin like this and we'll install now. Now you can go ahead and activate this plugin. 
and you can click allow to never miss an update or you can skip this now you can use this plugin in your elementor page builder but before that you can go to unlimited post kit this is the plugin and you can go to its core widgets and here you will find all those elements that i showed you you can view the demo and you can explore the video tutorial about any of these and you can also turn anything on and off so for example you don't need all of them you can just disable that by clicking here and here and so on so let's enable this back and uh, we can use all these let's also activate this and this and so on now again you can filter them by free and pro and you can also search for a particular widget you can activate all and deactivate all and we also have some extension for this like animations and multicolor items if you want to use this you can just enable them then under API you can have Mailchimp API and Instagram that we will cover some next time and other settings so here you can enable these like if you need category image somewhere you can enable this you can enable duplicator where you can duplicate post and pages live copy paste so if you enable this you can live copy paste from any website and this is a video media link if you need this you can also enable this so these are some settings for this plugin now let's see how we can use this so i'll add a new page or we'll edit any of my existing pages uh, let's say home page i'll edit home page with elementor by the way you can see i'm already using free elementor if you need elementor pro for some reason the link will be in the description now let's scroll down and uh, let's create a section here and now i can set for a particular widget and i can use that as i said you can explore any of those demos let me close all of these i'll search for first and i'll see all of them you can see alex grid alex carousel alice carousel alter carousel and so on first of all let's try alex grid and just drag this and there we go we got the other name and that look and all the posts if you are wondering that where are these coming from you can just go to your dashboard let me show you quickly under posts i have these demo posts okay you can see these titles these are the same as these and these are just dummy pictures so again you can now customize this how you can go to layout style you can change the layout for example to which will look like this and you can also change it to 3 and this is how it will look so you can see everything is very easy you can also change the row gap so if i increase this to 50 you can see the row gap here and column gap which is this one you can also increase and decrease this like this this is the item height you can choose specific height for these items the image size so you can change this to medium large or something now you will see the difference this is the query so if you want to display a particular post from a particular category or something you can change your query this is the number of blog posts you can increase and decrease the number of blog posts here and here you can decide the source so if you want to display a post you can select that you can display pages landing pages products and so on and if you have any type of custom post types you will also see that and you can also design that here let's leave this as post and here you can include by other or by term and here you can see the offset order by date order by descending order or ascending order and this is ignore sticky post only featured post and so on you can decide these based on units i will not be covering everything in this video i'll just i'm just giving you an idea about blog post then under additional settings you can see you can enable and disable title and this is the html tag for the title so you can change this to h1 h2 h3 and so on if you don't want to display category you can just disable this now we don't have any category and if you want to hide this read mode you can disable this you can disable author and so on so this is one of the widget which is lx widget okay let's use another one again i'll search for forced and this time let's use allies carousel and this is our carousel now and here we can go to navigation and uh, we will also display some dots you can see dots let's give this some margin okay now you can see dots and arrows let's again edit this and then how you will see the category you can see the title now under carousel settings you can see this is the direction so you can change this to vertical or horizontal 
and now you can see we have a vertical slider arc result the layout is critical you can change this to core flow let's go back to horizontal to show you the core flow this is how it will look and you can also enable disable autoplay autoplay speed fast and hour and slide to scroll and so on again these will be dependent on you so you can change these and let's try another look so i'll just make a new section and this time again search for post and this time we will use something like list okay so this is bus list and this is how it will look let's create another section to show you quickly let's use uh, this one crystal slider and this is a crystal slider with one for with one post at a time and this is how a crystal slider will look you can see the animation like this this is the featured image and this is the title this is the category and metadata so you can see the possibilities and the looks in this pre plugin now let me try one last time so i'll search for force and let's choose a rainbow grid okay so i'll create another section here we'll drag this and this is a rainbow grid where you will see the featured image and how also the description in the author so these are different looks that you can use and let's try one more which will be paradox slider okay so this is a paradox slider a very cool this is also dots navigation and arrow now let's update this page to show the end result okay let's scroll down so this is our first look this was the core flow this was the list and this is another slider and this was a mock grid or something and then we have this slider so these were some looks and uh, you can try all of them you can use the one that you need i was just showing you and giving you an idea about the plugin that you can use absolutely for free using free elementor and if you enjoyed this video then please like the video and share this with your friends and uh, also if you want to learn more about wordface and elementor you can follow my channel i have lots of videos about wordface and elementor and woocommerce and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next